Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be working with a type of predator. Not the carnivorous kind that is a plant form, but the carnivorous kind that is an insect form. I have got myself a praying mantis egg case and I thought we would um, go through it together and hatch these guys out in the greenhouse before I release them outside. So I've never done this before. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do. Um, these guys are available every year at this time on costco.ca. So this one delivered was about $20. I think it was just under $20. And then I got like a little care sheet from um, online at the bug zoo, which is just a local sort of exactly as it sounds as a bug zoo here in Victoria. So they ha seem to have some good info on it. Um, so between the, the info from the bug zoo and the actual info on the thing, I think we have enough um, information here to actually hatch these guys out in the greenhouse. So let's open this together first. I have never actually seen one in person. But yeah, like I say, um, Costco.ca has them. And I also went to this guy's website here. And where is the website is right there. And this is a Canadian company as well, and they sell them. They're um, $16 or something there as a pre-order. I'm assuming plus shipping. So it says to leave it in the case or in this little mesh bag to hatch them. I guess they'll go right through the bag. And there it is. So it's very light. Let's see if we can get a better shot of it there. It's very, very light, kind of feathery, papery. And yeah, this thing is supposed to hatch in one to eight weeks. So I'm going to stick it back in the bag here and then we're going to hang it in the greenhouse and hopefully we'll get some cool little praying mantis going. What do they say about this thing? They say your egg case contains many eggs that will hatch into young praying mantis. Attach the mess bag onto a tree or shrub three to five feet above the ground. The tiny mantis will hatch in one to eight weeks. Mantis disperse in one to two hours, leaving the egg case visibly unchanged. And they will stake out a territory. So that's what they say on there. And then on here, I just highlighted a few sentences. It says you can hatch them in a large 10 gallon aquarium or container. And you want to create a greenhouse like environment for them. So that's easy to do. And miss the babies when they hatch. They won't eat for a couple days and then they'll eat some live fruit flies or insects outside or that sort of thing. So I guess these guys, as I find them, I'm going to throw them outside for the, the summertime. And apparently the egg cases are hardy enough to, to survive our winters. So maybe I'll find some egg cases in the summertime. That would be super cool. And then bring them in and do it all over again. But anyways, that was just a quick sort of thing. I'll keep you updated on this. It is, um, I think, a fun little project. And we'll have a look at it again, maybe when it hatches. I'm just going to hang it high up here in the greenhouse, maybe on one of these hanging walls that's right beside me. See if I can um, tip you up here. I think I'm just going to hang it like right up in this area here, somewhere up here. And they'll be able to disperse from there. So anyways, we will update you again when they hatch. Maybe from um, this point on there will be tiny little mantis every once in a while in the greenhouse for us to watch too. So I hope you like this video. If you want to see updates on this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.